Tesla's highly anticipated full self-driving subscriptions have officially gone live. As per a blog post on the company's official website, vehicles equipped with hardware 3.0 or above could now subscribe to FSD features on a monthly basis. And the service's price is not that bad either. The FSD subscription's pricing is determined by which autopilot system is equipped on a Tesla vehicle. Vehicles equipped with basic autopilot, which comes standard on all cars built from April 2019 onwards, could subscribe to FSD for $199 a month. Vehicles equipped with enhanced autopilot could subscribe to FSD for $99 per month. Tesla owners could subscribe to the FSD suite through their smartphone, via the Tesla app, or through a web browser, through their Tesla accounts. Tesla owners could check what type of autopilot is equipped on their vehicle through their Tesla app. It should also be noted that vehicles that do not have hardware 3.0 or above must get the retrofit before they could access FSD features. As per the Tesla app, FSD computer upgrades now cost $1,500. It should also be noted that FSD subscriptions are on a per-vehicle basis. Owners with multiple Teslas could select and activate FSD subscriptions to their selected vehicle through the Tesla app or through their Tesla account. Interestingly enough, Tesla notes that FSD subscriptions could be cancelled at any time and monthly payments would not be prorated. This means that FSD subscriptions may remain active on a vehicle for the remainder of its billing period, even after the monthly service is cancelled. Tesla notes that refunds are not available for FSD subscriptions. No free trials for the FSD subscriptions are also available to date. Now, here comes the twist. Along with the FSD package, Tesla is offering a $1,500 hardware upgrade for early owners who have old hardware that is not capable of full self-driving tasks. But, the problem is, Tesla previously told those same owners that their cars were capable of full self-driving tasks and isn't allowing those owners to take advantage of the new subscription scheme without paying again for a hardware upgrade that they already paid for. All Teslas currently come with basic autopilot, a slate of driver assist and safety features. These include automatic lane keeping, traffic-aware cruise control, and other standard safety features, like emergency brake assist. These can help reduce the stress, particularly of highway driving, and enhance the safety of the vehicle. The full self-driving package takes this further and adds other driver assist features that allow the car to make more decisions on its own. These include navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, auto park, and summon traffic light and stop sign control. Eventually, this package will offer full autonomy, but the software is not there yet and still requires driver attention at all times. Tesla's full self-driving package can be bought for $10,000 up front or $199 per month with the new subscription scheme. It has cost less in the past, but as Tesla has rolled out more and more capabilities through software updates, the price has continually increased. Since 2016, Tesla has said that all Tesla cars have full self-driving hardware built in, but the software is what costs the extra money. At press time, Tesla's blog, where they announced this, is still up on their website. In case it goes down, we've screenshotted the contents of the blog for posterity. Owners who bought Tesla vehicles between late 2016 and mid-2019 were sold a bill of goods that was capable of full self-driving, with the hardware included in the vehicle. They were told that no further hardware upgrades would be required. Since that post, Tesla found that their previous computers, designated hardware 2.0 and 2.5, weren't quite up to the task of full self-driving. So they designed their own chip, alternately described as hardware 3.0, or FSD computer, which was more capable. Cars built since mid-2019 have this new hardware included. As part of this change in hardware, Tesla said that all owners with the old hardware could upgrade to the new hardware for free, provided they had paid for full self-driving. Tesla has a blog describing the process for upgrading your computer to hardware 3.0.
This was all fine and dandy, owners who would make use of the FSD computer got a hardware upgrade along with their purchase of the software, and owners without full self-driving weren't missing out on anything since they didn't have the software anyway. But now, the much-awaited subscription scheme offers a lower barrier to entry. Tesla owners with cars from late 2016 mid-2019 might want to try out the software and see what it can do, especially since it has improved since they purchased their car. Maybe they don't know if they'll like it enough to want to spend $10,000, or maybe they don't think they'll have the car long enough for it to be worthwhile. But to get that subscription, Tesla is demanding that those owners pay $1,500 up front for the hardware upgrade that was previously given to all full self-driving purchasers for free. Remember, this is an upgrade that all Tesla owners since late 2016 already paid for by purchasing a vehicle that Tesla said included full self-driving hardware. As this information has percolated through Tesla forums and by word of mouth, many owners are showing their anger with Tesla over the changes. We've seen several tips and messages and read lots of furious comments over this change, with some comments even calling for legal action. Tesla has gotten a certain amount of slack from owners and media. The company is a startup in a difficult industry and is trying to change that industry significantly and do a reasonable job of it. However, Tesla was founded in 2003, 18 years ago. It's an enormous company with over 70,000 employees, making more than $10 billion in revenue every quarter, and it's even part of the S&P 500. It's not a startup anymore. It doesn't get to use that excuse when it does stupid stuff like this. It needs to grow up, behave like a giant company, and stop lying to its customers. There is a simple solution here, remove the $1,500 charge for hardware that owners already paid for. We hope this change happens swiftly. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.